Catfish farming is an enterprise that has gained popularity among persons who are interested in producing their own fish at home since it is both the most interesting and rewarding endeavor. Catfish farming provides a one-of-a-kind and satisfying experience regardless of whether you are an enthusiast seeking for a new pastime or an entrepreneur investigating potential business options. In this video, we will look into numerous elements of catfish farming at home, including the different varieties of catfish, the various farming systems, and the business potential that exist as a result of this fascinating undertaking. Types of Catfish Channel Catfish The scientific name for the channel catfish is Ictalurus punctatus. It is one of the most constantly tamed species in aquaculture because it can live in a wide range of conditions. You can tell the channel catfish apart from other fish by its curled tail and spotted body. It is known for being tough and doing well in a wide range of water conditions. Because it is so flexible, it is a popular choice among both new farmers who want to try farming and experienced farmers who have been doing it for a long time. The fact that the channel catfish does well in a lot of different environments shows how tough and flexible it is. The channel catfish has shown that it can survive and even thrive in a variety of water settings, unlike some species that may be more sensitive to changes in water conditions. Its ability to adapt makes it a good choice for farmers who have to deal with changing water quality and temperature, which supports its broad domestication. The twisted tail of the channel catfish is one thing that makes it stand out. Because of this physical trait and the spots on its body, it is easy to identify. This species is interesting to look at because of these physical traits, which also help make it famous in aquaculture. The channel catfish's looks make aquaculture operations more attractive, which makes it a good choice for people who want to make aquatic settings that are both aesthetically pleasing and diverse. The channel catfish is adaptable in more ways than one. It can live and thrive in a wide range of water conditions. The channel catfish proves it can do well in all types of water systems, including standard ponds, tank-based recirculating aquaculture systems RAS, and cage-based systems in natural bodies of water. Because it is so flexible, farmers can pick the farming method that works best for their needs and resources. The channel catfish is a great choice for both new and experienced farmers because it can adapt to different environments and is tough. The channel catfish is a good example of a species that new farmers like because it is easy to care for and does not get sick easily. Because it is hardy, it lowers the risk of health problems and makes managing the farming area easier. On the other hand, experienced farmers like the channel catfish because it can handle a lot of different problems. This gives farmers more freedom to try new things and be creative with their farming methods. The fact that channel catfish is good for the economy makes it even more famous in aquaculture. The channel catfish gives farmers a chance to get a steady and efficient production cycle going because it can reach market size pretty quickly. This fish grows quickly and is hardy and adaptable, which helps it produce a steady yield. This makes it a good choice for aquaculture operations from an economic point of view. Also, the channel catfish is not just popular in industrial aquaculture. It is also popular in recreational fishing. Channel catfish are popular as catch and release fish because they are big and good at fighting. This dual use in business farming and recreational fishing adds to the channel catfish's overall appeal helping to make it widely tamed and culturally important in many places. Blue Catfish The blue catfish, also known as Ictalurus furcatus in the scientific community, is a well-liked option in the field of aquaculture. This is mostly due to the fact that it has a distinctive bluish-gray appearance and noteworthy straight-edged anal fin. This species stands out not only for its aesthetic appeal, but also for its capacity to acquire astonishing sizes. As a result, it is an option that is ideal for people who are looking to increase their production in their agricultural operations. In the realm of aquaculture, the blue catfish stands out due to its bluish-gray appearance, which makes it a distinctive and visually pleasing add-on to farming operations. This unusual color not only makes them fascinating to view, but it also helps to contribute to the general diversity of species that resides within aquaculture environments. There is a common appreciation among aquaculturists and enthusiasts for the variety that blue catfish provide, which contributes to an overall enhancement of the visual value of their farming surroundings. Having an anal fin that is straight-edged is one of the most distinguishing characteristics of the blue catfish. Farmers are able to differentiate this type of catfish from other varieties of catfish by using this anatomical trait, 
which acts as a distinct identifier for the species. The straight-edged anal fin, along with the bluish-gray hue, makes the blue catfish an instantly recognizable and visually pleasant addition to aquaculture settings. The astonishing capacity of blue catfish to grow to considerable sizes is one of the most enticing characteristics of this species, particularly for people who are looking to increase their amount of fish produced. The fact that blue catfish have the capacity to develop to astonishing dimensions is one of the reasons why they are so popular among farmers who are trying to increase their productivity. The blue catfish is a choice that is economically viable because of this characteristic, which enables farmers to produce a considerable production of fish for both the local market and the commercial market. In addition to its size and beauty, the blue catfish is famous for its robust flavor, which brings an additional element to the market for products derived from catfish. Because of its distinctive flavor profile, blue catfish is a popular choice among consumers who are searching for a seafood experience that is both distinctive and substantial. Farmers have the opportunity to expand their product offers and potentially charge premium prices for products generated from blue catfish as a result of this flavor distinction, which creates chances for farmers to cater to niche markets and gourmet preferences. The robust flavor of blue catfish brings a new dimension of adaptability to the culinary scene. The powerful flavor of blue catfish makes it a favorite among both consumer chefs and consumers in general, regardless of whether it is smoked, grilled, or used in a variety of recipes. This culinary appeal not only boosts the market for fresh blue catfish, but it also opens up opportunities for value-added products, such as smoked fillets or pre-prepared dishes, which address the needs of customers who are looking for convenience without sacrificing flavor. The culinary qualities of blue catfish make it an important addition to the overall market for seafood. Farmers can use the distinctive flavor to differentiate their products, appeal to certain consumer preferences, and potentially gain access to high-end culinary markets by utilizing the flavor. This emphasis on taste diversification is in line with the growing trend of consumers seeking one-of-a-kind and unforgettable gastronomic experiences, which positions blue catfish as a significant actor in the evolution of the seafood business. Flathead Catfish the distinctive appearance and flavor of the flathead catfish are what make it so popular. It is characterized by a large, flat head and a lower jaw that extends beyond the upper jaw. Additionally, it has a tendency to favor larger bodies of water, which makes it suited for particular agricultural situations. The flavor profile of flathead catfish is particularly different, making it appealing to customers who are looking for variety in the seafood options they have available to them anatomy and behavior. When it comes to farming catfish, having a solid understanding of their anatomy and behavior is absolutely necessary. The skin of catfish is scaleless, and they have barbels around their mouths, which give them the ability to detect food. Catfish are easily identifiable by these characteristics. The fact that they are predominantly bottom-dwelling fish and have a scavenging tendency makes it quite simple to provide them with some food. Catfish farming is appealing to aquaculturists of all skill levels because of these characteristics which, when paired with their adaptation to different conditions, contribute to the overall appeal of the industry. Systems for the farming of catfish The conventional approach to catfish farming involves the use of earthen ponds. Because of their low cost and the fact that they can be built with materials that are readily available in the area, they are accessible to a wide variety of people who are interested in aquaculture that is done at home. It is necessary to have proper pond management in order to keep the water quality high and to maximize the growth of catfish. This includes the monitoring of water factors like as temperature and dissolved oxygen, as well as the implementation of solutions to prevent common problems such as overfeeding and overcrowding. Lined ponds, which are typically constructed using synthetic materials, provide superior control over the quality of the water. They not only prevent seepage, but also make it possible to manage water parameters in an effective manner, which in turn lowers the danger of diseases and promotes healthier fish. In spite of the fact that the initial investment required to construct lined ponds might be expensive, the long-term benefits that they offer in terms of controlling water quality and preventing disease make them an appealing choice for catfish farmers who are serious about their business. Recirculating aquaculture systems, also known as RAS, are a method of agricultural production that is both contemporary and effective. In order to provide a controlled environment for catfish farming, this technology recycles water by passing it through a filtering system. 
as a result of its low water consumption and ability to produce throughout the year, RAS is suited for use in home-based farming even in regions that see seasonal shifts. Despite the fact that the initial setup cost may be higher than that of typical pond-based systems, RAS provides a number of advantages, including increased stocking densities and a lower impact on the environment. Catfish are able to flourish in environments that are ideal for their growth thanks to flow-through systems that continuously replenish the tanks with fresh water. These systems are especially well-suited for regions that have access to a water supply that is both dependable and copious. However, despite the fact that they require a constant supply of water, they are effective in preserving the purity of the water. People that want their farming operations to have a more natural water flow, which is similar to the conditions that occur in natural water bodies, frequently choose for flow-through systems. According to cage-based methods, catfish are confined in cages that are suspended from the surface of the water and placed in natural bodies of water like rivers or lakes. Those that have access to sufficient bodies of water may find this method to be an appealing alternative because it makes use of the resources that are already available. The use of cage farming enables the natural exchange of water and the utilization of nutrients in the body of water, both of which contribute to the overall sustainability of the farming operation. This, however, necessitates careful monitoring in order to avoid overfeeding and the potential adverse effects on the ecology that is located in the surrounding area. Agriculture Methods for Catfish To ensure the growth and overall health of catfish, proper diet is of the utmost importance. There are readily accessible commercial catfish meals that offer necessary nutrients like proteins, lipids, vitamins, and minerals. All of these feeds are readily available. It is the purpose of these feeds to cater to the specific dietary requirements of catfish at various phases of their development. For the purpose of enhancing the nutritional profile and contributing to the overall well-being of the catfish, it is beneficial to supplement the diet with natural foods such as worms, insects, and small fish. It is important for farmers to closely monitor feeding techniques in order to prevent overfeeding, which can result in problems with water quality and increased production costs. The Administration of Water Quality One of the most important factors that determines the success of any catfish farming business is the maintenance of adequate water conditions. It is absolutely necessary to do routine monitoring of environmental factors such as temperature, dissolved oxygen, pH, and ammonia levels. These systems prevent the buildup of dangerous elements and ensure that the conditions for catfish growth are optimal. In pond-based systems, it is important to preserve the natural equilibrium of the ecosystem. Treatment and Prevention of Diseases All kinds of diseases, including bacterial and parasite infections, can affect catfish. Catfish are sensitive to such diseases. When it comes to preventing the spread of illnesses on the farm, the implementation of biosecurity measures is absolutely necessary. In addition to this, it is necessary to practice adequate cleanliness and sanitation, as well as to place new fish in a quarantine before introducing them to current stocks. For the purpose of minimizing losses, it is vital to provide quick treatment with the proper treatments in the event of infections. It is important for farmers to be knowledgeable about the various diseases that commonly affect catfish and to collaborate closely with veterinarians or aquaculture specialists in order to devise efficient ways for disease prevention and control. Process of Harvesting and Making in catfish farming, getting the right size and quality requires a very careful process of gathering and then processing. To make sure that catfish reach their full market size, it is very important to pick the right time to catch them. Using nets or sieves to collect crops is popular in pond-based systems and tank-based systems, respectively. Each method is perfect for the farming setting and focuses on being effective while causing the fish as little stress as possible. It is common to sieve or drain things in tank-based systems because the controlled environments make tracking easier. A systematic way to catch catfish is to separate them from the water. Pond-based methods, on the other hand, usually use nets for harvesting. Nets put in the ponds in a planned way catch catfish, making the harvest safe and organized. In bigger ponds, seining, which uses a big net to catch fish by encircling them, works well. Collecting catfish from cage-based systems in natural bodies of water means getting the cages back and carefully taking out the fish. This method uses the current body of water, so it is important to be careful not to harm the environment and to keep the fish as calm as possible during the extraction process. A lot of steps are needed to keep the quality of catfish 
high from the time it is caught until it is sold. The first and most important step is cleaning, which gets rid of dirt, slime, and other leftovers in the water. This first cleaning prepares the product for further handling and makes sure it is clean and germ-free. After washing, chilling is an important step for keeping catfish fresh and high quality. It is important to cool the fish quickly to stop the growth of bacteria and enzymes, which keeps the fish's texture and taste. People often use ice baths or chilled water to quickly reach the right temperature while keeping the fish's shape during the cooling process. The preparation cycle ends with filleting, which is the careful removal of fillets from the catfish. Finding the right fillets is an important part of getting fish ready for the market. By giving people the choice of selling catfish whole or turning them into different foods, you can meet the needs of the market and your customers. It is very important to follow food safety rules and norms at every step of the cooking process. This promise keeps the quality and stability of catfish goods high, building trust with both customers and government agencies. Basically, catching and preparing catfish are very complicated steps that need to be done with great care and accuracy to make sure that the finished products are of high quality. The opportunities in the market the sale of catfish to end users can be accomplished directly through the means of local marketplaces. In order to build a consistent consumer base, it is beneficial to cultivate partnerships with local grocery stores, farmers markets, and restaurants. It is possible to promote catfish products and develop a positive reputation within the community by taking part in local events and activities by participating in community activities. Farmers have the ability to provide fresh catfish, live catfish for individuals who are interested in aquaculture at home, and value-added products in order to cater to the various interests of farmers' customers. Online platforms. The use of internet platforms provides a convenient means of reaching a larger audience in this age of digital technology. It is possible for catfish farmers to sell their products directly to customers by establishing a professional website or by leveraging e-commerce platforms. Additionally, Online sales can make it easier to transport products to a variety of areas, which broadens the market's reach beyond the confines of local communities. It is possible to use social media platforms for marketing purposes, as well as for communicating with customers, displaying agricultural procedures, and highlighting the quality and freshness of catfish products. Products with additional value. In order to attract a premium market, it is possible to diversify products by developing items that offer value. Consumers who are looking for convenience and one-of-a-kind culinary experiences are the target audience for value-added items such as smoked catfish, fillets, and ready-to-cook assortments. It is possible for the catfish farm to differentiate itself in a market that is very competitive by developing innovative recipes and selling these items as options that are of high quality and supplied locally. In order to uncover prospective value-added goods that resonate with their target audience, farmers should investigate the preferences and trends that are prevalent in their local area. Agriculture and Tourism Agriculture tourism has the potential to be a lucrative business endeavor for individuals who are interested in merging tourism and catfish farming. It is possible to attract tourists who are interested in learning about sustainable aquaculture techniques and enjoying fresh catfish products by providing them with opportunities to participate in tours, workshops, or dining experiences on the premises. Through the use of guided tours and events, agritourism offers the possibility of establishing a connection with the local community, educating the general public about the need of responsible farming methods, and generating additional income. With the goal of providing tourists with a positive and educational experience, farmers should take into consideration the infrastructure and amenities that are required to welcome visitors. Environmental Friendly Methods Focusing on techniques that are sustainable and beneficial to the environment can be appealing to consumers that are environmentally sensitive. The acquisition of certifications, such as organic or environmentally friendly farming techniques, might present opportunities to enter specialized markets and form collaborations with businesses who are environmentally conscientious. It is possible to improve the reputation of the brand and attract consumers who are environmentally sensitive by communicating the farm's dedication to socially and ecologically responsible farming techniques, responsible resource management, and sustainable farming practices. The implementation of environmentally friendly measures, such as systems that are efficient with energy and waste recycling, contributes to the overall sustainability of the agricultural operation that involves catfish farming. Catfish farming at home gives individuals with a multidimensional opportunity 
to join in an activity that is both satisfying and profitable. In order to achieve success, it is essential to have a solid understanding of the many species of catfish to select appropriate farming systems and to investigate the numerous market potential. Catfish farming continues to be a realistic option for those who are interested in making a positive influence on their communities while also enjoying the benefits of home-based aquaculture. This is because the demand for food that is supplied locally and sustainably is continuing to rise throughout the world. One of the most important components in attaining long-term success in this dynamic and ever-changing profession is a commitment to sustainable methods, continual learning, and adaptation to industry trends. This is true whether one is farming catfish as a hobby or as a business. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.